to give Brian Flores and his team for a little more Fitz magic opportunity. They had to come back in the week 17 that turned New England season and not have a home game. Brought him back then. All out pressure here. Cam, does he see it? Just gets the ball to Edelman quick. Second and five. They're on his back and he holds on to it for no gain. Yeah, yeah. That was Van Noy. Yeah, they're these are just plays where you got to get out of. I mean, look at this number. You don't have enough guys to block. So I know you're going to try and ride it and keep it, but they have too many guys. And that's been the adjustment teams are going to have to make. That's where they'll adjust with Cam after this week and get to some other play, right? A screen outside to Edelman. Their first touchdown drive that resulted in that Reggie Gilliam touchdown. They've had success in stacks and bunches versus man coverage, and they're getting that look from the Dolphins here. Look for crossing routes. Allen looks right back. Oh. He's nearly picked. Kyle Van Noy had wide open terrain in front of him and maybe six. Oh man, he looks he looks like me out there, right in his hands. And that could have been a huge one. Allen doesn't think that Van Noy is going to drop into the passing lane. Mm. He really had an open receiver coming open from the other side of the field. And another missed opportunity for the Dolphins. Byron Jones. Yeah, he's been agony. He, the staff didn't do him any favors either, I'll tell you that. To, to put him at this stage of his career against, you know, one of the best receivers in football. Third and 13, now ball is out. Still loose, and we'll see who wins that tug of war. Cam Robinson had that shot at it last, but it's Miami's ball. And it's Van Noy who comes out of there with a the football. So the penalty against Conley, third and long. And then it's knocked out and recovered by the free agent from the Patriots, Kyle Van Oy. Now it's good stuff. A four-man rush once again. And they're able to get pressure. And Van Noy, he has a shot. They run a little game inside. And he knocks it out. And then he's also able to recover it. And that's, uh, that's a really nice job. Can't say enough about the job that this Miami defense has done here tonight after they got really embarrassed in that ball game on Sunday to have a quick turnaround the way that they have and have to be on the road Thursday night and have this type of performance. That's a, that's a nice job by them. It's a great job by this coaching staff getting them ready to go. Do the no huddle, but much more urgency right now. Under five seconds left in the quarter. Here's one wide open, busted coverage oh. and incomplete for Conley. Van Noy got pressure. Conley was left oh. all alone. And on to the fourth quarter we go. Minshew gets to think about that for a little bit longer. Thursday Night Football presented by Bud Light Platinum returns after this. Obviously, I mean, that's what we talk about when we talk about how do you learn how to win? How do you learn the critical situation component? How do you learn to be successful? Well, this goes a long way for the Miami Dolphins, so learning how to do those things. And Miami's defense continues to get it done. Van Ginkle in the backfield with a slew of white jersey Dolphins. And Kyle Van Noy in the thick of it to grab Raheem Moster. I mean, they're just, they just, we used to joke around sticky Sam have all 11 guys on the line of scrimmage, you know, I mean just get up there and I mean it's like every gap's got a guy and it's, are they playing with 14 dudes on defense if they if they allowed that to happen and you see him he will eye Cooper Cup and wait for him to get open to throw that ball. From the Dolphins 36 it's Henderson on first down nowhere to go. Kyle Van Noy in to make the tackle. Early second quarter. Rams scored early after a strip sack by Aaron Donald. Robert Woods with the Los Angeles touchdown. And then Christian Wilkins with an interception of Jared Goff on Bill Belichick's staff. Super Bowl 53 linebackers coach. 
And they did an unbelievable job defensively in that game, holding the Rams to just three points. And it looks very similar, as you mentioned, to that Super Bowl run. The aggressive nature and the play calling. Goff hit, loses the football, scooped up by Van Noy. The fourth Rams turnover inside the 10, still going. Van Noy marked down at the one-yard line. And he was a member of that Patriots team that defeated the Rams in Super Bowl 53, Kyle Van Noy. And I'm so glad you brought it up because that's exactly what it looks like right now. Shaq Lawson, he's going to come off the edge to create this sack fumble. And look, Jared Goff has got to get rid of this football. Shaq Lawson right there. You see him gets it, gets the football out. And I said early on in the game, Jared Goff is uncomfortable when he has to just sit in the pocket. He does a much better job on boots and waggle action, and we're seeing what's going on right now. When you eliminate the boot action and you force him to stay in there, this is a long first half right now for Goff and that, and that offense. Four Rams turnovers. They had committed eight over their first seven games to cover that they've been able to cover the waggles and because of that they can blitz and rush golf here they come again second and six See, this is not golf's game another pass deflected this is tremendous coverage by eric rose on the tight end tyler higby and i mean that eric rowe he's had a phenomenal season we don't really talk much about him but he's played very well in the passing game, as you can see right there. But when I say this is not Goff's game, he is not a drop back, three-step, five-step, and then throw the football. That's not what he does. You see the ball getting tipped there. He is a boot, waggle guy. Then you take your shots downfield, and that's not happening. So, Late substitutions here for Miami. They have to hustle off the field. Needham and Van Ginkle able to run off on first and ten. That pass is deflected. It was Van Noy who got a hand on it. We had a good chat with Kyle Van Noy earlier this week. At 29, he is the oldest member of the Miami defense. He says everybody calls him the old guy, but he said they're keeping him young, this Miami D. And, you know, you talk about ball skills when you talk about defensive players and do they have a nose for the ball. And just that little play right there where he's able to elevate Knock the ball away so that you can't get it to Kirk behind the line of scrimmage. Because there's been a long run after the catch there with a nice play by Van Noy. Defensive look is unsettling with so many guys that you have to figure out who to block, where to turn, whether it's run or pass. It's tough to kind of compensate for that many people in the middle. Here's Murray trying to get around the edge and a good job by that Dolphins defense. Kyle Van Noy was with him every step of the way along with Jerome Baker. And it brings up third down. The disappointing start to his career in Cleveland those first couple of seasons. And then last year was off to a good season. Ooh, pressure wow. right away. That was Van Oy. He's playing with a bad hip, limited in practice, questionable coming in. Kyle Van Oy blew up that play. And because of that defensive play, the Dolphins hold him out and limit Denver to a three-point try. Big play by Kyle Van Oy. Excellent play by Van Oy because if there was one more step of separation that Locke could have gotten that ball off, it would have been a first down. There was an open player in the flat. They did a double move where they went. The Jets have it second down and eight at the Miami 24-yard line. Chris Herndon in motion. He does not have a catch today. Darnold in trouble. Darnold wrapped up, and Kyle Van Noy will bring him to the ground. Kyle Van Noy with the sack. It brings up third down. Allen, he's holding on to it. Now he's going to run, and he is short. Kyle Van Noy wraps him up, and out comes the punt unit for the Bengals. Great man-to-man -man coverage, and by great, I mean you had to weave in between all the crossing routes, and you're getting things that are going this direction and that direction. You've got to make sure that you don't bump into a receiver or a defender as you're covering your man, man-to-man. -man. That goes as a sack for Van Noy. He now has three and a half on the year. Familiarity and always believing that somehow they're going to manage to double A.J. Green, even though he's not the dominant receiver, but he's the dominant receiver now. 
in terms of resume out there. Third and 11. Pressure coming. Allen goes down. Kyle Van Noy with his second sack of the day. You know, it's just such sudden pressure when you get your linebackers to stunt. They're a little bit faster than the defensive ends, a lot faster than the defensive tackles. And when they have an opening, they usually finish. A nine-yard loss on the play. And Kevin finished up at NC State. He was a fourth-round pick last year. And looking at third down and 11. Low snap. Pressure coming. Finley goes down. Sack number six today by the Miami defense. Lawson and Van Noy getting back there. You know, it didn't start until really this quarter, but this is the way that you thought that this game might play out early on in the first half. When the Bengals had to throw the ball with the pass rush and the coverage in and up and returning it. Let's see if the Bengals can do something on offense. They have negative seven yards in the second half. And Finley able to flick it over to Bernard. And Bernard is wrapped up by Van Noy. Agba was applying the pressure once again. Is certainly in the second half, Miami has turned up the defensive heat. And they have overmatched the Cincinnati offensive line. Back last year with Andy Dalton. Now it's Ryan Finley playing the with Brandon Allen. They've done everything that they can to keep the ball from going to A.J. Green. Batted up in the air and picked off. Nick Needham with the interception. Back-to-back -back weeks with a pick for Nick Needham. And that's a little extra special for Needham because he told us that last year on the third day of the draft, Cincinnati called him and told him, we're going to pick you in the draft. They never did. And he ended up signing as a undrafted free agent with Miami, and now he has a pick against the team he thought he was going to end up with. You know, you're playing zone coverage. You've got your eyes on the quarterback. You rally to the football. And Nick Needham is thinking, I just hope somebody didn't come knock this ball away. And it seems like it probably felt like it took forever to drift down in his hands. It takes even longer when we run it in slow motion, too. <laughs> Second takeaway today by the Miami defense. Defensive coordinator is Josh Boyer. Where was he prior to Miami? New England. There's a lot of connections. A little familiarity here. Third and 12. Newton. Quick toss. The catch and curl. Bird cannot break away. And the Patriots are stymied on their opening drive. It's a loss of one. Kyle Van Noy hitting them down low to make the stop. Big check mark to the Dolphins defense on this first possession because New England came out on the second snap. They got back to the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. Ran a little option. Didn't work. Huddled on the third snap. Tried to run a wide receiver screen. And Van Noy gets up into the hole for the first down. And he plowed into a 6'3", 350 pounds. Newton has the time, and it's nearly intercepted. He was trying to hit Jacoby Myers on the play, and Kyle Van Noy, who signed a four-year, $51 million deal during the offseason with Miami from New England, had a chance at it. And you notice what they were trying to do. They were trying to hit one of those deeper routes, but Van Noy recognizes it very well, drops back into coverage, and almost comes up with the interception. And it was well covered downfield because Xavier...